Hey everybody, Budsy here. I want to thank the new subscribers. Thank you for watching the channel. On this episode of Trail Time, I'm going over a quick little review of what I'm doing for training. And also I'm going to be doing a gear review of what I have and what I don't have, what I'm going to get. So what I was doing for training was taking a little 3.3 flatland yellow blaze from my house to a trail that was a two mile trail at 2,000 feet elevation. What I'm doing now is hiking a road that's same convenience to my house, a little closer actually, but the elevation gain is a lot greater. So I could feel that in my calves and in my ankles more. So this is what I'm gonna be sticking to until I can get out to a real trail, you know, get out to a peak. I can't get out to them often, but hopefully I'm gonna be doing another Catskill peak here before I do my shakedown on the Devil's Path, which is also in the Catskills. So as far as gear, I just got this new coat. Five fifty to eight hundred down North Face. You know, there's better options out there, but for me, this was what I wanted to get. It was either it came down to this or a synthetic from some mountain brand I can't even remember. So I, I ultimately just figured down was better for me. There's a light rain coming out right now, so if it gets any worse, I'm gonna switch to my mid layer and my rain jacket. All right. Definitely gonna make that change. I'll be right back. I got this rain gear last year on clearance for like $15 at Tractor Supply. So, I'm not gonna be buying any frog togs or anything like that. I'm just gonna try and make do. My next piece of gear is probably gonna be a pair of gaiters. I keep getting pieces of gravel down my shoe and it's driving me crazy. I've stopped a few times, got them out. Definitely gonna look at those when I get home. So I made it to the top. I was worried that my mid layer and this rain jacket were gonna get too hot, but it worked out pretty good. So we'll see how cold I get coming down off the hill, but so far I like it. So that covers my coats. When I get back to the house, I'll be going over the gear that I have and the gear that I wanna get for my upcoming 2019 AT through hike attempt. So this is my pack. I got the Arc Hall Zip from Z Packs. Um, I'm going with the Thermarest ass pad and the way I have it positioned to help stand my pack up. I got the BRS, some tokes, and I will be going with a smaller butane propane mixture when I get out on the trail so it fits down into the pot. I like the long spoons because I get down into freezer meals like this or if you're freezer bag cooking it's also uh, convenient to get down to the bottom. If you watch Darwin's budget gear videos you probably recognize these two pieces of gear. Because I won't be using this down quilt until my shakedown, I'm going to keep it stored like this. This is how you're properly supposed to store your down when it's not in use. Two hacks you can do to your Sawyer squeeze. First thing is cut these grooves in here so the air has room to escape. I got this from Steve Walker's channel, I do believe. Uh, I'll have to double check on that. And the second one is go get yourself an IB tat sticker and put it on there. That's right, good morning you motherfucking sunshine. So I'm just a bear bag and a tent away from attempting my shakedown. Now I haven't registered with the ATC yet for my through hike or bought my ticket to Georgia yet because I'm waiting to see how that shakedown goes. If I can complete it and I feel good enough about it, then I'll register, I'll get my ticket, and I'll see everybody out there. Until then, I'll keep you posted and thanks for watching.